We're going to begin with a shooting, though. It started as a fist fight. Both teens hit when the bullets started flying. Bear County Sheriff's Office deputies responding to that shooting call just before 2 o'clock this afternoon on FM 78 near Ventura Way. That's by the Converse City limits in northeast Bear County. Garrett Berger joined us from there now live. Garrett, what do we know about the victim's conditions at this hour? Well, Sheriff Javier Salazar says that both teens were hit in the gunfire, one suffering injuries to their lower leg, the other an injury to the lower back. Now, both are expected to survive, but it all started with, or when there was a fight right in that area behind me where you see the spilled food on the sidewalk. The sheriff said the two teens were in a fist fight while a crowd of bystanders watched. Then a small white import stand pulled up, he said, and at least one person from the car started shooting. Both teens were hit, though the sheriff said the 15-year-old ended up getting into the car with the shooter. Well, I mean, that just tells me that to, to me, he, he probably knows who, who knows who those people are. And again, I don't believe he was the intended victim, but as we've seen in cases like this, uh, these people aren't necessarily skilled marksmen or even uh, very good at, at doing what it is that they do. So the 15-year-old was dropped an address on nearby streets, Sheriff said, but both teens did end up being taken by ambulance over to Bamsey. The Sheriff says neither is facing charges at this time, though depending on what led up to that initial fist fight, they could. Now, the Sheriff says they believe a car across the street as well was hit by a stray bullet, and they're not, and they believe there may have been a second person shooting from that white car that pulled up. They say they don't believe there was any gunfire from people outside of that car. Live in Northeast Bear County, I'm Garrett Berncher, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.